everyone. I'm trying to get my camera set up here. I'm not prepared for <laughs> professional grade filming at all whatsoever. Anyway, I discovered today that you can actually eat the flowers and the leaves of the zucchini plant and the sunflowers. So I planted a garden this year and it didn't turn out very well. I thought I got a lot of sunflowers and a lot of zucchini and squash though. So that means I got a lot of flowers and leaves. Found out that they're edible. So I'm gonna try that for the first time tonight. So I've got, I'm just doing the um, sunflowers tonight because I wanna taste the difference. I'm not gonna mix them yet. So all I'm doing is um, chopping this just like you would spinach or uh, collard greens which I did plant also and they're actually popping up pretty well so I'm um, excited about that too so tonight oh my gosh this smells so good I had no idea what a waste all these years so I'm just giving them a rough chop and um, I think I'll do these like I do cabbage, which is I do it in an iron skillet with a little bit of olive oil and um, mainly just salt and pepper. I also add some red pepper flakes because uh, we like it a little bit spicy. I like it a little bit spicy. My husband likes it a lot spicy, but I think I'm going to do it the same way just so I can see what the, the pure flavor of the leaf is like. And yeah, you could eat this raw, like I just did. There's not a lot of flavor to it. There's a lot of aroma, but not a lot of flavor at this point. I'm wondering if cooking will bring it out. And they are um, a leaf that is a little bit hairy. They're not quite as spiny as the um, zucchini leaves, but we'll see how this turns out. 